Yo, 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 what is up, Mitchell and Brio? And we are back at it again here at Lone Star Handgun. Oh, wait. No, this is not Lone Star Handgun. No, this is my range here. Although, guys, as y'all know, we had some very, very good times out there at Lone Star Handgun. Kind of mimicking it here, kind of. You know, out here, uh, just because, you know, a lot of good times, a lot of good memories. And, uh, by the way, every single time that we have the big shoot, always be checking y'all's email for the big shoot. Obviously, if you're going to Brawlio, but either way, keep checking the emails because when we do have the big shoot, they will be at Lone Star Handgun. So, anyway, plan on going back over there today. All right, so here is what we got today. We have brand new, look at that brand spanking new you probably can tell the oil is still on the rifle right here this is the ruger american chambered in 22 lr and uh yeah so this is a first shot uh review of the rifle it's not been sighted in uh like y'all are going to be along with me for the ride for the first shot it does come with iron sights as you can see here what i do think is pretty cool is uh well if i can get this thing to stand up <laughs> uh this sight actually uh it folds down well it did went okay okay there we go so you can see it folds down and i, I was actually looking through it at first and I was like, oh, that thing actually it flips up. Okay, so, you know, you learn something new every day. Okay. Uh, I have my tools with me to sight it in. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to take some first shots with it and just see kind of where it's hitting at first. So y'all are going to be coming along with me for the ride here. But this is it right here. Uh, nothing tactical. I know I'm pretty well known for having tactical weapons. Um, but... I, I didn't really uh, buy this gun to uh, be tactical. Uh, this is really just a just for fun rifle. Uh, it's just to get outdoors. I have semi-automatic 22s and <clears throat> you know so forth so on. Uh, I actually have one 22 right now. It's had a manufacturer. It's getting fixed. Long story. I'll tell you all about it later. It's that Chiapa M4 Mitchell. That M4 22. It's needing a little bit of maintenance work, unfortunately. But anyway. Uh, you know, whenever I want to shoot 22s fast, I'll pull something like that out. But this is just to hang outside in the great outdoors and just enjoy my time outside. Not to shoot fast, just to just to shoot, just to enjoy my time outside. So, anyway, y'all are going to be taking some first shots here with me on this Ruger American. Hopefully, everything is in frame. Um, when... I loaded the magazine. It's a 10-shot round magazine. Uh, bu the, the bullets are kind of rattling in the magazine. I don't know. Maybe that is normal. Uh, literally, I, this is the first time I'm going to be pulling the trigger on this rifle. We're going to see how it goes. Um, just to let y'all know, the very first five shots in this rifle, they actually date back to my childhood. Um, so there, there are some really old, old 22s, the first five shots. Um, it's just mainly, it, it, in, in my mind, it's just kind of like telling the rifle, like, hey, you know, you're a part of me because I'm putting my past, you know, history, uh, through the rifle. So the first five shots would be 22s from my, uh, childhood going back. And then the next five are uh, me and Mitchell's favorite 22, which will be the Agulas Super Extra. Uh, they're not the copper-plated bullets, Mitchell. These are the lead, um, which, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of taking a favor now to lead. I know me and you, we shoot the, the copper ones a lot, and I'm not saying there's nothing bad about that. Um, just, well, the lead is a little more safer, so... Um, but either way, me and Mitchell's favorite Aguila. All right, let's do this, guys. Um, let's see how this rifle does. Okay, so I already put it around in the chamber and closed the bolt. I believe the magazine is fully seated. Okay, first shot, guys. Here we go. Um, uh, I'm going to go for... Um, I have a little plate. I think that little plate's about 30 yards away. So 30 yards, small plate. Hmm. Okay. 
Not too sure what I hit. In case y'all weren't, that was a 22 short. Not a CB, but a short. A really old round. Positive ejection. You can just see how small that is. But that's from my childhood right there. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, what? Hold on. What's going on here? Hmm. Magazines, uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, still same plate, 30 yards. It's got a good trigger. Uh, it feels really good. Um, see that magazine is doing it again. I don't know. Okay, there it goes. I mean, it feels like it's fully seated. I can see in the when I when I'm racking the bolt back. It, it seems like the the magazine's not seated all the way, which I don't understand. Okay. Um, but I mean, it seems like it is. I'm gonna go for that little prairie dog. It's only uh, about 15 yards. Whoa, headshot, all right. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's doing it again. I'm not too sure why. Really weird, I, I don't know why it's acting like that. Hit. I can already tell that's not going to seat. I'm going to push it up. Okay, it went in the chamber. I don't know. Well, i tell you what. I got a target. I don't know if that's 40 or 50 yards away. It's the big gong target way out there. I'm going to try to hit him. Put my sights dead on. See if I can hit it. Oh, hit. All right, that was actually a round I got with my uncle way, way back in the day. Okay, see, I can already tell that's not going to seat either. What is going on here? I, I, I mean, I've never dealt with magazines like this before, but, uh, okay, that thing is seated. Okay, I'm not going to... <laughs> My finger is hanging around the magazine release or anything. Okay, I don't know what that one see, and still in it. What the hell? Oh, see, now that round got messed up. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, that round actually got bent. I don't understand. I mean, I'm the magazine's fully seated in the weapon. Oh, it hit that target there. That small little plate. Oh, what do I have to do? Hold the magazine? <laughs> I tell hold. Put my hand right here. <laughs> right? Oh, that one hit. Yeah. Yeah, hold, hold, put, keep my hand right there. Just. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wow, good shot. That was a good shot. Okay, I'm all out. I, I don't know. Um. Uh, I, I've never dealt with a magazine like this, um, but it's a brand new rifle, and it, I mean it shouldn't be it shouldn't be giving me any problems. Um, but yeah, no, I just uh, you know I got this gun just to kind of you know take my time outside, you know, not really to rush any shooting or anything like that. It's just something just to get outside and just you know just take take your time outdoors. You know, it's not. It, 
not meant for rushing. That's not why I, I bought it, but I would like to know what is going on with this magazine. Okay, it's fully seated. It ain't moving. I don't know, your guess is about as good as mine. Ooh, nice shot. Okay, pull the trigger. I can guarantee, wait. I don't know why. Nice shot. I already know that bullet wouldn't go in the chamber. I gotta lift it. This gun actually, believe it or not, it can actually take 30 round magazines. The little, like the, the uh, 30 round magazines you get from Academy. I wonder if this gun wouldn't do better with those magazines. Like see right there, I can see it was wanting to pop out a little bit. I don't know why, I don't know why that is. I mean, it's smacking these targets right now. I mean, it's doing a really great job. I don't know. Huh. Why that is. You know what, this has some type of uh, bolt on the front of it. It looks like you can kind of unscrew it. I wonder if, because uh, it looks like that little bolt kind of indexes that hole right there. I wonder if I would need to unscrew it more to uh, get it in there. But you shouldn't have to. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's a brand new rifle. I mean, there shouldn't be any problem with the rifle. It could be just a magazine problem. I mean, it could be. Although, I think it would be funny if I put a 30-round magazine in there. And, uh... It just works every single shot. I think that would be kind of funny. You know, though I didn't buy this gun to be tactical or nothing like that. I bought it just to, you know, take my time. Well, I put a 30 round magazine and it just works. That'd be really weird, but whatever. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. It's, I mean, it's smacking them, man. Whoa, that was a small plate too. Got that, no problem. Uh, what, uh, sm a small one way in the front. Wow, smacked it, not even an issue. I mean, I'm, I just smacked a plate that's only one inch in diameter. So that's small. It's about as big as that camera lens. So, and it just smacked it on the first try. I'm gonna do a few more shots here. I don't think I need to, I don't think I really need to do anything with the sights. I don't really think I do. Um, I mean, it's pretty much hitting where I want to. Where's Mitchell and Braulio at? They need to come on out here. Let's see here. Oh, okay, that one went to the right. Going for that small plate. Oh! Wow, nice shot. Mm, that one I'm not too sure. I tried to hit that uh, 50 yard. Oh, smacked it. I tried to hit that uh, 50 yard again. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's challenge this rifle, okay. Okay, I have that one plate that's a little one incher. I have one that's like about a half inch. So I mean, it's 
it's small, like one of these 22 cases, man. It, it's kind of like that big. I got one round left. Let's see if I can hit it. Okay, that one, I, I'm not too sure where. Uh, should I stop the video right now or try to go for that little itty bitty tiny target? I mean, it's a small, it's a small target. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I need to really mess with the sights. Magazine a little hard to load. Not too, too bad. But you gotta, you gotta kind of press down on it a little bit. Also, guys, I have brand new a 22 Magnum. Uh, that one does require a scope to shoot. I have a red dot. Um, I'm going to try to maybe get sight in tomorrow for a first shot view. I might be able to do it. I might not. But today, Ruger American. And we're just kind of putting the, this gun through its paces. Oh! Second try, and I just got it. That little plate that's like this big, I just smacked it. So the second try, I actually got it. That's pretty good. I, I, just, I just don't know what's going on with this magazine. Okay, four shots left. I'm going to wrap up this video here. Let's go on 16 minutes. Oh, that's a good shot. Okay, a little small plate, 30 yards. Hit. We're going to go for the uh, 50. Hit. Uh, do one more on the 50. Oh, I'm not too sure that one. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, Mitchell, Braulio, I hope everything's going great at y'all's houses. And, uh, you know, I always hope the best for y'all guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I uh, wish y'all guys were out here to... Uh, Try this out with me. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, the Ruger American 22. Um, by the way, this stock you can actually uh, take it off. You can put they, ha they have another stock that it came with. Uh, it's just this where like it raises it raises the cheek up. I don't think I really need to mess with it all that much. It seems to be just fine where it's at. Uh, it has a good front handguard. You can really get a good grip on it. It's got a really good fiber optic front sight. 10 round magazine. I don't know why the magazine's acting the way that it is. I don't want to say it's a rifle problem. It could be just a magazine problem. There's a chance of that. Um, trigger is excellent. Uh, I mean, the trigger breaks. I mean, so, so clean. Um, <laughs> it has uh, sling mounts on it. So that way, if you want to go ahead and put a sling on and go hiking through the woods, you can. Uh, I don't see myself ever doing that. But all in all, I have to say, uh, for a first shot uh, review, it's very, very good. Very, very good. Very accurate. I don't think I really need to mess with the sights at all. Uh, it's got a good checkering here on the grip. So you can get a good purchase on it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty neat little rifle. Got it from once again BudsGunShop.com. Seriously, guys, if y'all thinking about buying some guns for y'all selves, BudsGunShop.com. Although my dealer out here in the country, uh, he charged me a premium for just to do a legal transfer fee. Cost me sixty bucks on both these rifles. Where in San Antonio would have been for free. <laughs> would have been for free or for about thirty thirty five dollars. But, uh, you know, people out here, they're just trying to make a living, you know. Uh, but, yeah, tomorrow I'm, I'm thinking about getting out that 22 Magnum and giving it a, a first try. Uh, but, anyway, I'm going to put some more shots down range and uh, kind of see how it goes. Hope y'all enjoyed the video and y'all have an awesome day. The Wolf, signing out. Y'all have a good one.